Greece is steadily regaining the trust of the international business community. Reforms and restrictive fiscal policy implementation have started to yield positive results in fiscal consolidation, reflected in the achievement of a primary surplus for the first time since 2007. It is estimated that this year the contraction of GDP will end and there will be a return to the Greek economy of positive growth. In light of these recent developments, Introducing Leaders, a Middle East Business News and Magazine, organised the event Greece and China, the New Business Paradigm, in April, as the first of the Strategic CEO Roundtable Series for 2014. Hosted by Greek entrepreneur Harris N. Vafias, CEO of Stealth Gas and Brave Maritime, the event gathered leaders and visionaries from the banking, shipping, technology, manufacturing, construction, health and pharmaceutical sectors in Greece. So let me turn first to, uh, to our host, Mr. Dampiers. <laughs> And what I want to ask you is the following. I've seen in, 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 in some of your quotes, which have been repeated in said over the last five years at least, that you, are, that you assign a lot of, a lot of great, a great importance to the, to the demand for gas, especially from countries like China and India. And that's important, because that's a big area. Do you consider uh, this demand as one of the highest metrics for guiding business uh, opportunities for steel gas. <coughs> and how important is the demand from China for steel gas today? As you might understand, propane and butane is the first energy source that developing nations use after they stop burning wood. So in China and in India and in Africa and in Vietnam and in many such places there are still smaller uh, towns or villages that they don't even have electricity. So these people in these villages can go and buy a small gas canister, which you know, costs very, very, uh, a very small amount of money, so they can cook their food and heat their homes. So you see more and more people trying to improve their quality of life, more and more people trying to uh, step up in the usage of energy. Um, uh, wood, as you can understand, burning wood is not very environmentally friendly. Mm -hmm. So you have a dual benefit by stopping the burning of wood and using gas. So uh, from the gas that we carry, three quarters is for household usage and one quarter is for industrial usage. And uh, now speaking specifically about China, we do lots of business in China and uh, doing uh, also inter-Chinese business, loading in bigger ports and discharging in smaller places. And up to 2008, we were the only European company that had uh, ships in China with Chinese flag and Chinese crew to do p proper cabotage uh, Chinese business. Uh, we're very proud that we only the European company that was, was doing that. And the uh, appetite of uh, China for both LPG and LNG is uh, huge and we hope to be doing business there for the next 10 to 20 years. The main conclusion drawn from the discussions was that Greece is back on the right track. The Hellenic Republic has emerged from the difficult chapter of its recent years in sprightly fashion while internal devaluation has restored the lost competitiveness, with exports rising from 19% in 2008 to 27% of GDP today, bilateral relations with China have increased significantly as well. Driven by our mission to foster broader policy discussions among the world's global shapers for the advancement of the world economy, Introducing Leaders is, and Middle East Business will be, organising the upcoming Greece Meets the Middle East Roundtable to be held in an exclusive setting hosted by Dolphin Capital, one of Greece's most prominent luxury real estate developers and landowners. Working closely with their host and guests of honour, Introducing Leaders has created an elite, invitation-only guest list, limited to a maximum of 30 business leaders and innovators.